Hi everyone, I just wanted to talk a little bit about ChatGPT today and AI in general and just illustrate something that a lot of you may not know. So I've worked with a lot of students who use ChatGPT, which is fine, which is great. I want you to be aware of something interesting that ChatGPT will do. It, it, it does not necessarily feel any uh, compulsion to tell you the truth. It will make up things um, and give it to you as if it's reality. And if you turn this in on an assignment, you're going to not look very good and it'll be obvious what you did. Okay, here's an example. I'm in chat GPT right now. Here's my question. Please create an annotated bibliography related to child psychology and playground equipment. That's one of the assignments I work with, with students at the actual university I work at. So we submit the question. Okay, look at this. Okay, this is great. Isn't this amazing? Look how quickly it's doing it. It's creating you an annotated bibliography <clears throat> on this subject. And this is amazing. And look at the titles. They're exactly what I'm looking for. Exactly. Okay, and this is really great, right? So terrific. Um, but I was the student I was working with who did this, he said, well, the strange thing is that I can't find any of these articles. When I go to different databases or Google, I can't find any reference to these anywhere. Okay, no results found. Okay, that, that article doesn't exist in reality. Okay, let's look at the next one. I mean, they're perfect. Look how perfect those titles are. Okay, no, that's not it. No, one result similar, but that's not it. Uh, so that one doesn't exist. So <laughs> it looks amazing. What it did was amazing. No results found. See, none of these are real. They look great. They look amazing, but none of these are actual articles. None of these. So then you can ask it. Those, or state to it, those articles don't appear to be real articles. It appears to me that you just made those all up. And ChatGPT says, I apologize for the confusion. As an AI language model, I don't have direct access to specific databases or articles. I generated those examples based on typical content found in research articles related to child psychology and playground equipment. However, I understand the importance of providing credible sources. <laughs> so it made up all of those. And unless you know what this is going on, this student would have turned that in because I had a student contact me with this exact situation. And before he turned in his bibliography, he said, I just want to check something because I he was smart enough to do what I did to try to find those articles. And none of them existed. And he contacted me saying, what am I doing wrong? Chat GTP just does that. And unless you check it and say, I don't want you to make things up. Like, and it, it doesn't have access to databases. So it just makes up things that look right. So I just want you to be aware of that. I think ChatGPT is great to use as long as you're aware that it will just make things up if it doesn't have the answer or if it doesn't have what you want. So that's just my little two cents to put in there. I know everyone thinks ChatGTP is the most wonderful thing in the world. And I think it is great. I think it's really cool. And I especially was impressed how quickly it generated all these. I stopped being as impressed once I realized none of these are real. There, there's just my two cents for you to consider when using ChatGPT uh, so that you don't really embarrass yourself. Okay, thank you very much.